with James. Hey, Martha. Hi, how are you? I'm doing good. Friend of the show for how long now, Martha? Long time, maybe three or four years. Here we are. That's about how long we've been doing Second Date Update. Talk to us about James. Well, James was great. We met online, and I, I don't. I, I kind of new to this online dating thing. You know, I we we ended up going to dinner and whatnot. But you know, it's. I just. Um, I, I I first assumed that everybody that you dated online was going to be like really, you know, interested in actually doing long term dating. But I found that not everybody is kind of looking for a real relationship. So okay. I, you know, I just want to make sure that we're on the same page. I mean, it used to be there in the beginning, like when some of these online platforms debut, you know, there's something that sets them apart. Like when Tinder debuted, that was strictly just hookups, right? Mostly. To be, yeah. And now people are meeting and they're getting into relationships, which just muddies the waters and makes it more confusing. But then you see somebody on eHarmony or Match and you assume they're in it for real. Like they're looking for a real relationship. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah, because you got to pay to be a part of like an eHarmony. I know it's quite expensive sometimes. Right. Yep. So I get what you're saying, Martha. Right. So we went out and I, I thought everything went really well. Um, we went for drinks afterward. We, we, we met up at the, um, the Loving Cafe and it was great. You know, the food was great and the conversation was great. And um, like I said, we, we had some wine afterwards. And I, I don't normally drink wine. I don't normally drink at all. So after a couple of glasses of wine, he came back to my place. And, um, <laughs> you know, I'll, I'll spare you the details there. But mm. we, we had a really great time. And um, I just, I'm totally confused now. I, you know, he said he wanted to find somebody to get really serious with. And he said he enjoyed spending time together. So I just, I don't get it. I don't know why I haven't heard from him. And was this after the fact? Like when he said he enjoyed spending time with you, was that after you, after he left? Was that in the form of a text? Was that when he was saying goodbye? He was talking about it at dinner time. You know, oh, I see. Saying he just was really enjoying spending time with me. And so, yeah. Now, that restaurant's a vegetarian restaurant. Who picked? Oh, that was my pick. I didn't even hear the restaurant. What was the restaurant? Loving Cafe. It's in Pleasant Ridge. It's actually, it's a really cool spot. Hmm. Yeah, I, I mean, I picked it. I've been there a bunch of times, and I really like it. Okay. So. All right. Well, if you can't think of anything else, we may as well just call him, right? Get him on. Yeah. <laughs> okay, then we'll take a break. And when we come back, we'll give James a call, see what he thought. Uh, Martha and his meat free date with her. Yeah. <laughs> At least until they went back to his oh, place. Boy. I was going to say, not entirely. <laughs> Jeez. Coming up next with Jeff and Jen on Cincinnati's <laughs> Q102. Well, Martha met James online. She's not a big fan of the online dating thing. She went in hes- hesitating, hesitatingly. Hesitantly. <laughs> Hesitatingly, though. I mean, that works, too. Or I something. like it. Yeah. yeah good word. Uh, <laughs> just because, you know, you think people are in this for a relationship, and it's hard to sometimes differentiate who's in it for a hookup or not. And so after this great date resulted in an overnight stay, now this guy's not calling her back, and she's bummed and probably a little pissed at herself because this is exactly what she didn't want to happen. Mm-hmm. And so, Martha, you have not heard word one from him. There was no texting, no back and forth after the two of you said goodbye the last time. Is that correct? Mm-mm. No. All right. Anything else? Any other questions, guys, before we call him? I don't think so. Nope. All right. Who knows, Martha? We might be able to get a second date. Let's not give up hope yet. Okay. Hello? There's the man we're looking for. Hey, James, how Hello, are you? Hello, James. Kyle, uh, who's this? James, this is Jeff and Jen at Q102. How are you doing this morning? Doing pretty good. How are you guys doing? <laughs> we're doing great. Thank you for asking. Fritch and Tim are both here. Morning. Mm-hmm. Hey, James. It's a hey, full-blown Papa. party, friend. Oh, no. It's never good when the radio station calls. Let's no, go. it's not. <laughs> <laughs> so you know why we're calling then, right? <laughs> Uh, let's see. I don't know. I'm guessing usually when I hear you guys call people like this, it's second date update. Yep. Yes, sir. You've been dating lately? Uh, I have been on a few dates, yes. Um, oh, man. <laughs> only imagine. Should, should we play the guessing game? <laughs> well, let's see. I could probably guess because the only weird date I've been on is with this girl, Martha. <laughs> oh. Weird date? Why was it weird? Uh, 
Well, gosh, uh, let's see. I don't know how I should start. I mean, let me just first say that Martha seemed pretty cool. You know, we went to dinner, we met online, had drinks. You know, I mean, everything went really well. Yeah. She invited me back to her place, and um, so I mean, that all went great. But <laughs> dang, I just I can't imagine that she told you the end of the story. Well, she said you guys, you know, she did. She spared the details and then said she never heard from you again after that. So that's all we know. Okay. So this is the weird thing. It's like, so I mean, like during dinner, during dinner, she told me about a pottery class that she was taking. Sorry, what was that? Pottery. Oh, pottery class. Sorry, I didn't pottery. catch it. Okay, pottery class. Got it. And uh, I was, you know, genuinely interested in, in hearing about it. So as I was going home, she told me she wanted to give me something. She went into the other room, and she came back with this, like, pink piece of pottery that kind of looked like, I don't know, like maybe a long thing ashtray or a canoe or something. Oh, God. <laughs> smiling when she gave it to me. Um, I think you might know where this is going. Um, I had no clue what it was when she first handed it to me, and so I asked her, and it was a mold of her <laughs> she made in pottery oh. class. <laughs> Of hers? A mold of hers. Of hers. A mold of hers. <laughs> Just when I thought I knew where it was going. <laughs> she wanted me to have it so I could take it home what? and be reminded of her and our evening. <laughs> <laughs> Here's a free gift. I love it. <laughs> I want to know if she's got like a whole rack of them or a whole box of them That's that she passed. That's what I was curious <laughs> about. Like everybody that comes over, is this like your parting gift? everybody get one? <laughs> Here's a piece of me. It's a little uh, memento for the occasion. Oh, it's great. Oh, wow. I mean, that's pretty odd. So I, 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 I don't know what to do with that. So I'm just kind of backed off. Can we get a picture? <laughs> oh my god. Or maybe that would not be That's a little personal. Yeah. Right, yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. Martha. Hi. Hey. Is this a hobby or uh, or you, do you sell these online? <laughs> okay, guys. She's got an Etsy page. <laughs> Vagina pottery. <laughs> my Martha. <laughs> no. There you go. You can call it my Martha. I like that. Yes. <laughs> I gave you a piece of art. James, I thought I thought you'd be flattered by that, and I thought you know that it would be something special. I don't. I was drinking. I don't know. I, <laughs> you know, everybody in everybody in the class had to make one. It was part of the assignment, and I need to I, take up know, pottery. I, I guess. So. Were there I mean, guys I, in this class? I'm curious as to well, how. Well, like, well, did you well, have to like? Just do it from memory, or was this something oh, like? Oh, there was nothing um, molded, nothing naked. Obviously, I'm really embarrassed about that part, but I didn't feel like it was. It was supposed to be kind of funny, you know. I mean, it's art. Remember me by. They just use paints at Cheers to art. <laughs> yeah, I think so. Wow. Um, yeah, James, I gotta, I gotta tell you, I think, I mean, that would have been weird too, I suppose, but I would have laughed my ass off. I don't know that I would have been weirded out in such a way that I would have like not wanted to go not out with her again, unless there's another reason. Is that the only thing? Well, I mean, I guess I just, yeah, because the thing that I just had to think was wondering is like, is this something that she makes to give to all her dates? It mm -hmm. just ah. seems, might be weird to me. So yeah. no, I do not. I had just made it a couple of days before. And I just was thinking it would be funny. I like I said, I don't normally drink, you guys. And it was hot out of the kiln. A little crispy, and I thought it would be it still just warm. something for him to remember me by. You know, look, he looks at it on his desk at work or something. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Taking it to work. <laughs> business card holder. Oh, man. That's awesome, though. I think it should be a business card holder. That would be awesome. <laughs> I love the detail. What did you do with it, James? Where is it? It's still in the backseat of my car because I didn't know what to do with it. I was afraid to throw it away. Don't throw it away. It They're really personal, but... Well, like if you're not going to keep it, then I want it back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she still hasn't had a chance to glaze it yet. God. <laughs> that was supposed to be your job. I promise to take care of Ooh, it. Oh, nice. <laughs> No bad. <laughs> this is just one of those I, random funny things that you'll laugh about for a long time. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you could tell the grandkids yeah. this story someday. Well, and that way she can no, get it should. back if he doesn't want it, you know. <laughs> I feel kind of silly now, so if Martha's willing to give me a second chance, I will, uh, I'll be happy to go out another day with her. Can you imagine her grandkids going through her stuff, though, after she passes? <laughs> and, what the hell what is, is this? this? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, but... 
My business cards fit perfectly in this That's thing. So I'm keeping funny. it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so James, you're in. Oh gosh. Yeah, I, I'm want, in. I, she can, she I can, can make you. If you guys in. want, I can make you one too. Sounds like you're really interested <laughs> in my artwork. Yep. <laughs> Let me see what I can send over to the station. All right, All right. great. That's Timmerman. T I M M E R M A N. <laughs> thank you, Martha. Um, we'll set this up with Martha since she made the call. James, thank you for taking the call. We appreciate it. You'll be hearing from Martha soon. All right, sure thing. All right, take it easy. <laughs> All right, if you need us for a second date update, we are here. All you got to do is send us an email, Jeff and Jen at WKRQ.com. Thanks for listening to the Q102 Jeff and Jen Morning Show Podcast, brought to you by CBG Airport. Start your trip at CBGAirport.com.